Good day. In the previous videos, I have explained uh, around six cognitive errors. In fact, there are a lot of other cognitive errors, but uh, uh, I will uh, explain now a few more. And still, it is not the whole uh, list of cognitive errors. There are more and more cognitive errors, and some of the cognitive errors are uh, very new and very specific to the to that person who uh, who has or, or who is suffering from OCD also one of the cognitive errors is uh, magical thinking uh, um, sometimes over over importance of thought okay or uh, thought action <coughs> thought action fusion where you become like like uh, a god okay a false god of course uh, you every thought that that is bouncing in your head you think it is real so it become a real thing it become from a thought to a real thing okay so you think something then you think that it is the truth uh, okay, so this this is why it is called magical thinking because you become like a magician. You think and then you say, and voila, it is there in front of you. Uh, it is also uh, thought action fusion, but also sometimes emotion action fusion or sensation action fusion. You, th you you have a thought and then you think that this is the reality of the thing or you have an emotion then this is proof that this is the reality or you have a sensation so you have a thought that you are harming someone then you think you have uh, you have harmed this uh, poor guy uh, you think that uh, 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 speci specific uh, gender sexual uh, sexual sexual thoughts entering your head and then you say okay this is me okay so you imagine some uh, a position or a or a, or a picture uh, with the opposite sex that you are a, a gay or a homo and then you take that for granted that you are you believe it that this is this is the truth you are that so this is magical thinking Okay. Okay. Um, I should say, in all of the cognitive errors, it is uh, that process or tools that you, when you put on uh, a neutral thought or a neutral, a neutral emotion, a neutral sensation, normal thought, normal, th this thought, this neutral thought will transform. Okay. Or, or will be uh, filtered or will be deformed uh, and became an obsessive thought, an OCD thought. So it become uh, OCD thought and also you believe, you, f you feel that this is your thought, this is the truth. So this is cognitive errors. Okay, another cognitive error is uh, inflated responsibility. It is when you consider yourself responsible for for every event in this world. And sometimes you walk on the street and you see cleaves uh, uh, of bananas or you, you see a chewing gum on the, then you feel you feel urged, you feel uh, urged that you should remove this uh, uh, banana or this uh, chewing gum from the street otherwise someone will step on it and he will uh, get an accident or uh, he will die of course after that and then you are responsible for that so you will try to clean sometimes I I see a woman um, uh, on the street she is always cleaning the streets because she think that it can be different things. In fact, I didn't ask her, but it can be uh, dirt obsession or uh, 
coming from uh, coming from one of the uh, cognitive distortions okay so it can be from black and white thinking or it can be from uh, uh, inflated responsibility that she is responsible for the whole street any dirt any bacteria any germs any uh, contamination in the street is her responsibility and she is the only one that she that should clean the street although there are uh, two times three times per week the uh, the the cleaning car comes and there are sp uh, special people who uh, who are really responsible for cleaning the streets here in my uh, district okay so this is inflated responsibility it it is it is a very uh, a very important cognitive error inflated responsibility you feel responsible uh, it also it can be added to other cognitive errors like blight and white thinking so you have uh, after you are there is small possibility of uh, contamination or uh, germs on the door knob through black and white thinking then you think oh it is very dirty everybody everybody touch this knob door will get infected okay so this is black and white and then after that you don't stop of course no you will introduce uh, inflated responsibility that means you are really responsible to clean that as an example so so you will of course uh, you will uh, uh, get uh, anxiety and then uh, the anxiety will increases because of the thought and the emotional content of your thinking and after that you will do the ritual simple as simple as that okay uh, I should say uh, I should say that uh, um, dirt uh, OCD contamination OCD the same as religious or uh, harm OCD when you wash your hand you 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 really the, the thing that you want is not removing the dirt from your hand no removing the dirt from your head from your brain because you can never remove the dirt uh, from your hand there will be always and all the people not they don't wash their hand 24 hours per day or or six hours per day no they wash it once twice three times four times and this is it so when you wash your hand you try to wash your head you what what you want to do black and white thinking you want to remove all the possibilities all the thoughts of dirt all the thoughts of contam contamination you want to wash your head to remove all the thought of contamination okay so uh, one of my client he asked me um, you said OCD comes always against your values. Now, uh, I have a great value for cleanness. I want to be clean always. So this is my value. Uh, when I wash my hand, then I am maintain maintaining my value. I'm doing my value. Then my uh, my answer to him: No, you wash your hand not to. Not because you have uh, you, you want to maintain the cleanness, you mean you want to maintain your your value. No, you wash your hand so that you want to remove this thought in your head that says dirty, dirty contamination, dirty germs, sickness, disease, and you want to remove this thought hundred percent, completely, completely. You make your head black and white or white head a white head zero thoughts there is no thoughts about germs zero so you want or if you don't do that then it is completely black then 
this is full of uh, full of uh, germs and bacteria okay so you try to wash your head in fact you try to wash your hand when you when you want when you are washing your hand when you when you are washing your hand in fact you want to wash your head why so that you remove all these thoughts or these obsessions and then you will not get an anxiety and anxiety will stops okay so the ultimate goal of washing your hand is not to achieve a cleanness no to achieve to remove these thoughts i wash my hand to remove thoughts now it's impossible because you wash your hand with a, a water with a soap and these are physical hands how can you remove a thought okay so problem of contact with the senses okay uh, okay so uh, now this is uh, and this this thing is in all of the obsessions in all of it is it is it of it is an harm ocd of it is as sexual ocd of it is an religious ocd uh, the same as contamination or dirt OCD. You wash, you do the compulsion to remove the thoughts, to remove the anxiety in your head. Okay? So you don't do the ritual really to do the ritual, to do the action. So you don't do the ritual really to achieve a value. No. To achieve the th to, uh, to remove the thought against your value. Okay? To remove the thought in your head against the value. When you are doing the ritual, uh, okay, harm, sexual, religious, when you are doing the ritual, you don't want to achieve something in the... You will not achieve something in the practical sense, physical sense. No. You do the compulsion so that you will remove the anxiety in your head. You want to remove the thought. Through action, you remove thought. This is... A, this is impossible okay you you cannot neutralize a thought by doing uh, things okay so uh, not only that uh, if you do the ritual then the, the the brain will get information that okay send him again the signal okay so uh, uh, this this uh, also takes takes us to another uh, 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 cognitive errors like a need for certainty or uh, the the, comp the intolerancy intolerance of anxiety you have uh, a very low tolerance for anxiety for worry for uh, certainty you need to be certain all the time you are afraid of worry you are you have wo worry because you are worried about your worry okay so you are anxious about your anxiety what do you think then it will be a positive feedback uh, uh, or a, a negative spiral it will increase itself i mean self-generated cycle when you are worried about your worry when you are anxious about your anxiety this is a self-generated cycle okay so uh, uh, some people have a need for certainty the whole day or the whole month or the whole year the all of their lives and this uh, added to some uh, stimuli stimuli added to some cognitive errors uh, uh, will achieve or will uh, make OCD appear will create OCD okay so these are the cognitive error. What should what should you do about them? Cognitive errors, they are in in themselves are are processes or tools used by OCD to generate itself, or you or it will generate OCD signals. So at the end, you have any normal or neutral thought, and here you have a cognitive errors. When it will enter the this box, it will come out as what as an OCD obsession. That's it true. So what shall you do? You should simply do the steps. You recognize that. You become you. You should be aware of that. 
okay? You exercise uh, one day, two days, three days to be aware of this specific cognitive error that you have. It can be multiple uh, seg uh, cognitive errors. So you should watch all of them. You should, you should be aware of them. And then you relabel them. Uh, you 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 mention you say in yourself, okay, inside your brain you say their name. It is uh, inflated responsibility. It is magical thinking. It is white and black black thinking. Okay, and then what should you do? <laughs> you should not respond to that. Okay, you do the things that is important to you, or you. If this is difficult, uh, in the first uh, days, do the opposite of what they are telling you, of what the cognitive errors telling you. Do the opposite of that. Okay, this is uh, th for the first day. Okay, as a, an ERP uh, response. But of course, at the end, we 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 even don't want you to do exposure. We even don't want you. We don't want you to do ERP. At the end, what we want you to do is to, the ideal case is a, completely to neglect, to neglect the uh, OCD trigger, the OCD obsession, the OCD stimulus. So you are like that, then you get OCD, OCD, okay? You, so you are, you are like that, and then you get an OCD. You stay there because of the obsessions and the compulsion. The ideal case of the therapy, you are like that, and you get an OCD trigger, you continue like that, okay? So that means you are watching television, you are working, and then you get OCD trigger. You know this is an OCD trigger, you continue. You continue with watching, you continue with your work. So this is the ideal case, okay? But sometimes, of course, you use ERP, uh, uh, because in exposure, in fact, you you tell the brain about this is also one. You tell the brain that this is I care about this trigger, okay? But give me this trigger, and I will stop the response. So it's still you are affected. Still you are affected. You are spending time. You are spending energy on the ERP, okay? But in vivo, uh, so in the real life uh, exposure, we want you, the ideal case is that one, three, okay? Or only three, or even, uh, so one, three, or three. But we have said, if this is difficult, then we have introduced step two to uh, convince your brain that it is not me that that is having the danger, okay? It is a false signal. This cognitive errors, um, which is not me, these cognitive error, error are responsible of generating the this feeling of that I should do something, that uh, this feeling of danger, this fe feeling of urgency that I am. Okay, so okay, so this is the uh, what I have now. Uh, I have explained that uh, as much as I can, okay? I hope you have benefited from that and God bless you and see you in the next video.